Born September 21, 1909, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah led Ghana to independence on March 6, 1957 and served as its first Prime Minister and later President, a position he held until he was overthrown on February 24, 1966. Fifty years down the line, his legacy still lives, but what was the entertainment industry like during Nkrumah's regime? KB Asante was the secretary to Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. It was good. Almost every Saturday, there was a dance. Uh, you had, uh, oh, they were called all sorts of names, one Adabraka, Atadabraka, and uh, I've forgotten the names now, anyway. And uh, they all, uh, they were dance. Well, were there any particular dance? Do you know? Uh, yes, it was, it was uh, E.T. Mesa and all the others were there, good music. And uh, even if you don't have a partner, you could go because the advertisement was uh, gentlemen in tight, please. If you are not in tight, you were thrown out because uh, gentlemen in tight, please, ladies free. Ladies could go because the they, they men went to uh, take the lady to dance with. So ladies should go. And when you go there, you have got a partner, you look for a nice thing with a nice fork and so on. And strange enough, uh, uh, our cloth, uh, look, was not, I won't say Allah, but, but uh, was not encouraged. So all the ladies who went to a dance were in frock. And as one who saw Nkrumah's influence on entertainment industry then, what does it make of the industry today? In those days, we listened to High Life, the dance High Life. Uh, when you go to a dance hall, you have Quick Step, Fox Trot. Uh, and all the which ones were you? Oh, I was. I like the foxtrot, uh, quick step, uh, all the dance, uh, normal, uh, what I call European and uh, uh, other dances. But I also like the high life. Uh, the high life, not these days. Uh, when I, I get bored, I don't actually go to uh, such places. But now and again, when I go, I get bored because. There's a dance, you go to the uh, uh, hall, uh, and uh, uh, or rather you go to the dancing place, and it goes on and on and on and on, and people do, there's no form, they just shuffle their feet and bodies, and you say high life. No, in our time, the high life was just as a foxtrot, you have a whole a piece. The high life, A.T. Mesa, or whoever, Kim Bruson. And as one, who saw Nkrumah's influence on the entertainment industry then, what does he make of the industry today? Does KB Asante think Osaji for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah would be happy with our entertainment industry today? He wouldn't be. Uh, he he believes in uh, us, uh, human beings entertaining themselves, but he also believes that some of the entertainment should try to enhance their human personality. Nkrumah's idea was that Every village, every township, every group will have a place whereby you, where you, uh, uh, the people will meet and they will, sh uh, like a town hall, they will show films, there will be plays, and the, some of the films will not be only for entertainment, for also for education, to show what is, and then uh, to promote the development agenda. We've lost that because if we don't do the films and uh, the idea, he, he, he didn't really get to establishing uh, firmly uh, the community centers. Which we... Toils of the brave and the sweat of the Alepos, toils of the brave which have brought results.